Well, it is certainly one of the most daunting challenges a parent can face. How to pay for college. That's right. And today, more than 100 leaders from both the private and public sector spent the day at the White House, and they promised to change that. Senior political reporter Scott Thuman is in our newsroom tonight to explain just how they plan on going about that. Mm -hmm. Scott? Quite a task, right? Leon Allison, with the lack of bipartisan accomplishments on the Hill right now, President Obama has vowed to essentially take matters into his own hands, use executive authority whenever possible. This is one, it's his call to action, it's been named, and it's designed to specifically help low-income students get into college. And I can say that if I didn't have any aid, I wouldn't be here at GW. For students like David Brunfeld and Jessica O'Brien, financial aid is the only reason they can afford school, covering more than just room and board. Probably like 40000 a year. They consider themselves among the lucky, but 100 plus colleges, businesses, and nonprofits are promising to broaden that bunch, especially among students who find college unrealistic and unaffordable. Unfortunately, today only 30% of low income students enroll in college right after high school, and, and far worse, by their mid 20s, only 9% earn a bachelor's degree. Participants vowed to dramatically increase efforts to connect low-income students with colleges that can meet their needs, engage them as early as elementary school, boost remedial programs, and help students prepare for standardized testing. There is this huge cohort of talent that we're not tapping. University of Virginia is forging partnerships with high schools in low-income areas, while Northern Virginia Community College has a goal of helping another 3,000 in need. Getting that, kind of that word out there that you can afford college if you really, I mean, that would be great, I think. I thought be, like, you'd see a lot more kids trying to get into college. All right, all of these lofty goals, but keep in mind, without mandated funding, these have to come at the expense of the groups who today volunteered. And there are no guarantees, so the White House says it'll be watching to see exactly who follows through. In the newsroom tonight, Scott Thuman, ABC 7 News. Okay.